Although cactus are tough plants and can tolerate being root-bound, you should not neglect it and allow their roots to be crowded in a small pot. This can result to stress and can stunt their growth and prevent them from producing flowers. On average, a small cactus should be repotted once a year, and a larger specimen every 3 to 4 years. But, repotting alone is not enough. One of the secrets of many cactus growers in Thailand is root trimming. Root trimming is the process of cutting roots prior to planting the cactus or when you plan to repot the cactus. In this video, I'll show you how to root trim cactus and the benefits of root trimming. Here, you can see my Astrophytum Asterias cultivar Fucor Unodum already outgrow its spot, which means that it is ready for repotting. What I usually do first is to tilt the pot and gently squeeze it to loosen the soil mix and the roots. Since I am using plastic pot, it is easier for me to remove the cactus from the pot. If your cactus is planted in terracotta or ceramic pots, you can use barbecue stick to loosen the soil so you can pull the cactus safely. As you can see, this cactus is already root bound. After you pull the cactus, loosen the soil, remove all the remaining soil mix that were left from the cactus roots. One of the benefits of root trimming is you can check the condition of the roots, if there's root mealybugs or other pests. If you bought a potted cactus, I highly recommend repotting to check their roots. Sometimes, since you bought them from a big nursery, pests can't be avoided. To remove the remaining soil from the cactus roots, I use soft brush and water. Gently brush all the remaining soil mix until there are little to no soil left. You could also use running water from the faucet or a pressure sprayer to remove the soil mix from the roots. After washing, place the cactus on a bright area and allow excess water to dry out. Avoid exposing the plant to intense sunlight. You could speed up the drying by placing it in front of an electric fan. When the roots are dry, you can now start trimming the roots. Use a sharp scissor or a pruning shears. Make sure that your chosen tool is sharp to ensure a clean cut. Using alcohol, sanitize your tool. You could also sterilize your tool using heat. This will eliminate the bacteria or fungus that may be present on the cutting tool. Cut all the root hairs and lateral roots, leaving only the primary roots or the top root. Here's an illustration showing the parts of the roots. Don't worry, cutting the roots will not harm the cactus in any way. Here are some benefits of root trimming. For faster cactus growth, root trimming will encourage new roots. The new roots are more efficient in absorbing nutrients and water compared to the old roots. Trimming the roots will also remove dead roots that no longer absorb water and nutrients. Avoid root rot. Root trimming the cactus before planting will lessen the chance of root rot. Sometimes, when you replant a cactus without trimming the roots, their old roots die which can cause bacterial or fungal rot. Remember that dead roots encourage bacteria, molds, and fungus. It let your cactus breathe. Root-bound cactus have overcrowded roots and strangle the cactus. Trimming the roots will allow the roots to grow and breathe. Give a rest. From my experience here in the tropics, giving them a break will allow them to flower simultaneously and have larger seed pods. Encourage cactus growth. Efficient roots means that the cactus will have the right nutrients and water it needs to reach its optimum size. This will also boost the cactus development and avoid stunted growth caused by being root bound.
as you can see, I only leave the top root. Usually, when my cactus are about a year old, I also cut the tip of the top root. This encourages the cactus to grow more of these thick top roots. Once all the lateral and hair roots are removed, place the cactus in a bright area with good air circulation, away from intense sun and rain. You could also apply rooting powder or cinnamon to the cartoons to help grow roots faster. Allow the cut to dry and heal for at least one week before planting. If you live in a dry and airy place, this will usually take around 3 days. But if you live in a wet and humid place, it will take longer. Some cacti have this fibrous root system, such as gymnocalisium. What I usually do is to trim the roots and leave only at least half or quarter of an inch long root. For cactus with tuberous roots such as Ariocarpus, avoid cutting the big top roots unless it is rotting. When to root trim your cactus? In the tropics or in a wet and dry season, I usually do root trimming during the last month of the year, wherein the sun is not intense and there is less rain. But if you live in a place that experiences four seasons, I recommend trimming the roots during the start of the growing season. Avoid trimming the roots when the weather forecast is rainy or when it is freezing cold. A lot of cactus collectors are terrified of trimming their cactus roots because they think it will kill the cactus. Root trimming have been a practice in horticulture for decades already. It is a technique to maintain your cactus roots healthy. Remember that cactus rely on their roots to continue living. So while you give your cactus the basic care such as soil mix, water, sunlight, and fertilizer, it is also crucial and beneficial that you include root trimming in your lease. If you have questions, suggestions, and feedback, don't hesitate to comment. I read all your comments and try to respond to them as much as I can. Thank you for watching!